Okay, so we've got this stair here, which is, uh, like I was saying, fairly close to what we need. But we can make it a lot closer just by adjusting the stair properties and also adjusting the sketch to make it match um, things like this landing shape that we need. Okay, so I might show you uh, firstly how to change the railing because that's a nice easy one. As long as you finish the stair, then you can select the railing just by clicking onto it and you'll see in properties that you should find one by going to the top, select at the top called 900 mil pipe. Okay, so that's very close to what we want, but it's got a little bit too much. This is, again, like I was saying, that illegal now um, ballast jade, but we'll make it like that, and if you have to put the rails back in, then uh, you can do that later. So, to take out the, the rails, which you can see here, I'm just going to go to Edit Type, underneath the, the railing name there, so Edit Type, and then Duplicate, and we'll call it 900mm pipe, no rails. Click OK. And then you can go to the rail structure. So rail structure non-continuous. Click on edit there. And then delete. One, two, three, four, there should be four, but yeah, we need to delete. So basically all of those. So just click on to any of those names there, and then you can press delete, and then just keep clicking delete until they're all gone. Now how easy was that? Click OK. OK again. And there we are. Yeah, so now we want to get rid of the posts. So again, you can go back to Edit Type. And this time, click Edit next to Baluster Placement. So you should see this. And then the, um, the main baluster there, you can see is uh, where well it's got number 2. And then you can just simply change the baluster family there to none. Now I'm going to leave the, the corner posts on. So this is the setting for the intermediate posts. So these posts there that are on the ends or the corners, so that, that's considered a corner there. So if we click OK, and OK. You can see now it's just got these balusters left basically at the corners, which is pretty close to what, what you have here. Now we can look at offsetting if you want to get that perfect, but we'll worry about that later. So that's, that's close enough for now. And then the inner balustrade, you should be able to then just select and then change it in the top properties to your new one, 900 mil pipe, no rails. Don't worry if it gives you a warning, just close that. And there you go. Now, the way it's curling around here is again a little bit tricky. Uh, you can make it do that, but uh, again, we'll worry about that afterwards. Alright, so now we've got to look at the stairs. So I'm going to start just by selecting that. Click anywhere on the stair and then you can go back to the original sketch that you used to make it by going to Edit Sketch. So it's sitting on the ground and in 3D it's a bit hard to see. So I'm going to go to my entry level floor plan. And I can see it there much more clearly. And I'm simply going to select that, um, that line there at the bottom, the green line, and drag that 
all the way down so it snaps to the edge of the wall there. That's it. So just select the green line and then just drag it, click and drag to drag it down and it should snap to the wall. So that's it, ticks finish. And when you have a look at it in 3D, you can see that it's touching the wall. Okay, so the other major element in that staircase is the open treads. Like I said before, we can fix the stringers later. It's pretty close as it is, but we've got to bring that across a bit more and put in the extra piece in between. Again, worry about those little details later. So I'm just going to select that stair to make it have open rises and also a rounded nosing as well. Just like the railing, you can go to Edit Type, Duplicate, and we'll call it Open Tread uh, Round Nosing. And then, OK. And then, when you scroll down, you should find the um, risers section, where it'll have a riser type. And you can set that to none. That easy to make open risers. You just set the risers there to none. It'll leave the treads in. And then we've got above that the tread section, and you'll see there it's got a nosing profile set to default. So you can just scroll down there and find, well, we've got M stair nosing there, radius 40. Uh, so that's not going to work. So we need radi radius 30. Uh, and let's just have a look at this actually. What's that? Thickness I wonder. I don't think it would even be 30. So, see, it's probably more than more than 20. It's a shame we don't have a 25 there. I thought we would. Uh, so, well, let's just do 30, and we can reduce it if we have to later. So, uh, then I'm going to change the tread thickness to uh, 60. Yeah, now I'm just going to check. I think that's actually a bit wrong the way they've they've said that. It's uh, so I'm used to. I've made some extra profiles. So I'm just going to check this setting for you. Yeah, okay, so I have to do that and then we'll adjust it if we have to later. So, again, back to there. So, so I use these settings instead. So, I use the nosing radius 40 and then make the tread thickness 40 as well. Okay, so that the person who made this profile just gave it the wrong name. It's actually a diameter of 40, not a um, radius of 40. Okay, now I think they've got it at the back as well. So, oh, sorry, it's a new. Op no, sorry, you can't do that with this version. I thought you could set it to the back. Okay, so that's it. Click OK, and at least then we've got it on the front. So now, if we look in perspective, I'll just make a perspective view through that area. And I'm looking the wrong way. Ah, now it's right on the wrong side. Let's just have a look. I oh, say so the stair should be inside there. Why am I looking? There we are. So I was looking from the wrong side.
Okay, so getting there. Right, so we can put a, a rounded um, section onto that railing as well later, but uh, again, we'll have to look at how you do um, some of the uh, terminations in railings, which is a bit more advanced, so we'll do that afterwards. But, uh, but that should be enough to give you a basic uh, setup for the stairs. And so, yeah, we'll have a look at doing the roof in the next video.